Elon Musk has a goal to establish an operational cargo and crew architecture for missions between Earth and Mars and possibly beyond. Achieving this ambitious goal requires a massive launch vehicle with a cluster of high-powered engines, a propulsion system for operation in deep space, and a propulsive landing and ascent architecture for operation in the Martian atmosphere. All this will be realized by SpaceX's Raptor engine family, and SpaceX has a very ambitious goal with the Raptor to be able to reuse it a thousand times. So the development of these rocket engines is paramount for the future of SpaceX and the future of all space travel. And recently Elon Musk has launched a new design of the Raptor, promising to be a great design and more efficient than the previous Raptor versions, the Raptor 2. In today's episode, let's find out about what these rocket engines are capable of, and more specifically, what is the Raptor 2? And why is it a pivotal piece of the puzzle for Starship, SpaceX, and our future travels to Mars? By the way, if you're new to our channel, we encourage you to like this video and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from the world of SpaceX. Alright, let's dive into the episode. So, first off, what is the Raptor 2? Raptor 2 is the post-iterative development version of Raptor, which will have more power. Details about the Raptor 2 are murky, but the jump from the Merlin to the first iteration of the Raptor shows that SpaceX isn't slowing down with its development and growth of its one-of-a-kind rocket engines. In a recent video interview of Everyday Astronauts, Musk noted that SpaceX has produced parts of version 2 of Raptor, including the thrust chamber assembly. Teams have finished the design of the turbo pumps and are expecting to be ready to fire the first Raptor 2 by the end of August. Raptor 2 will reach 230 tons of thrust at 298 bar main combustion chamber pressure. Raptor 2 has a bigger throat, which reduces the area ratio, resulting in a 3 second fall in specific impulse, but a considerable gain in thrust. Despite the lower ISP, this permits booster engines to be more efficient because gravity losses are reduced. Raptor 2 will have a far cleaner appearance than Raptor 1 due to the removal of a huge amount of piping, according to Musk. Well, as you know, the Raptor is designed to power the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket combined with it. It's known for its ridiculous amount of power and the truly game-changing aspect, which is its reusability. Like many other engines, the Raptor burns chemical fuel to produce thrust. However, its use of liquid oxygen and liquid methane is different from nearly every other engine in the space travel field. No other rocket engine is capable of producing as much energy out of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The use of methane is monumental and cannot be stressed enough. Most rocket engines in existence use kerosene instead of methane, but the idea of using methane makes a whole lot of sense when you look at its properties. You see, methane has a higher performance than most other fuels. This means it costs less and can allow the rockets to be even smaller. Now, how important is the Raptor 2 engine? Well, Raptor 2 could help enable SpaceX's crewed mission to Mars, expected sometime this decade. These engines are doing things that no other has. SpaceX's website shows the previous plan for the Super Heavy to offer thrust of 16 million pounds. Musk's comments suggest this figure could reach 17 million pounds. By comparison, the most powerful rocket to ever fly was the Saturn V. It last flew in 1973 and generated just 7.6 million pounds of thrust. The firm has kept things slightly vague when it comes to payload capacity. Its website claims it can lift over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. That may be an underestimation. A user guide in April of 2020 analyzed by YouTuber Everyday Astronaut suggested the rocket could lift something closer to 156 metric tons to low Earth orbit. At the same time, Musk confirmed this was indeed the long-term goal. Mass of initial SN ships will be a little high and ISP a little low, but over time it will be around 150 tons to LEO fully reusable. 
Once again, SpaceX is changing the game. In the years ahead, SpaceX has set its eyes on Mars. Elon Musk has repeatedly said that he wants to be the pioneer who first successfully landed astronauts on the Red Planet. That will be a huge accomplishment for mankind. Truly unlike anything else in human history, but it won't be achieved by using regular rocket ships. Nor will it be achieved by using regular rocket engines. The Raptor engine and the Raptor 2 that is now being developed are a key piece of SpaceX's future. It has a radical amount of power cultivated in ways that haven't been seen before. With the science and reusability factor, the Raptor engine is what space engineers have always dreamed of, but have never been capable of achieving. It will save money, energy, and it will help massive vessels like the Starship transcend our atmosphere and head straight for Mars. When you understand just how major and consequential the Raptor engine is, not only for SpaceX, but also for the future of all space travel, you can comprehend why Musk is pushing his company so hard to turn out these engines at such high speed. Now, what is Elon Musk's plan in the production of Raptor 2 engines? Have you heard about McGregor, Texas? It is home to a rocket factory that is run by Elon Musk's SpaceX. This factory was established in the sleepy Texas town in 2003 and has more than 500 employees working tirelessly on creating the rocket engines which will power SpaceX's mighty Starship. In July of 2021, Elon Musk announced that SpaceX was planning to build a second rocket engine factory in McGregor. This was welcome news for the quiet Texas town located 15 miles west of Waco. The mayor of McGregor released a statement saying it gives them a sense of pride to know that any engine used by SpaceX came through McGregor first. It certainly has given McGregor identity because of the work being done at this factory and the one that will be built alongside it. It is major and revolutionary. That's because the factory is home to tests on the Raptor engine, a radical piece of space tech equipment that is capable of immense power. The new rocket facility that will be built in McGregor will work on the Raptor 2 rocket engine. The plan is that it's going to produce one engine every 12 hours and produce 800 to 1000 units a year, Musk said. That's a huge undertaking and underscores just how important these rockets are. It won't be easy to make one engine every 12 hours, but the end result is going to be a fleet of Starship vehicles that can help traverse the universe and land humans on Mars, all at a fraction of the cost and energy that the engines of the past had. If we really expect to set foot on Mars in the next few decades, there's no doubt it's going to be because of the Raptor engine. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you like what my team and I are doing and would like to help us directly, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to share your ideas in the comments below so we know where to improve upon. Everyone's support will be the motivation for us to create more quality content. And as always, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss out on the next episode. This is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and I'll see you next time.